Hello students, in this session I will try to briefly introduce you to all the bones which are present in a human skeleton. So this is a human skeleton which you can see, this is a uh, miniature model of what the actual one. So here is the actual skeleton which is quite large. So this is the miniature of the same. Okay. So as you know there are uh, around 206 bones in an adult human skeleton. So there are 206 human uh, bones within a human skeleton. Okay, 206 bones. Out of which uh, there are 22 bones in the skull. 22 bones in the skull. Okay, so there are again the skull is divided into two parts: the cranium as well as the the face the facial skeleton as well as the cranium cranium is that part which is covering the the brain this part which is covering the brain so brain will be inside here in the cavity so that cavity is again uh, made up of the bones from outside which will protect the the sensitive brain so this will consist of the eight bones and remaining 14 bones will be forming the facial skeleton okay now we'll try to uh, just briefly see through what are these the uh, the cranial bones as well as the the bones which form the skeleton of the face so the cranium is made up of here there is a bone this is called uh, the frontal bone frontal bone here there is a single bone initially in the fetus it will be two bones but later it get fused so it is a single bone here in case of adult similarly in the back here if you see this is called as the occipital occipital bone so this is the occipital bone here so these are single bones okay they are not in pairs but single bones occipital bone as well as the the frontal bone then we have two parietal bones here these are the two parietal bones if you see you can appreciate this these two bones are all these uh, bones in the, of the cranium they are fused together by something called as sutures so the the, the joint between the bones in this skull so which are called as sutures okay then after this then we have the this is called as the temporal bone temporal bone on either side you can see this is the temporal bone okay then there is a bone inside the cranial cavity so here there is a bone here inside this is called as the the sphenoid this is the sphenoid bone okay it is a butterfly shapes bone which is called a sphenoid and deep inside here deep inside there is a bone which is called a the ethmoid bone deep inside okay so which will be called a the the ethmoid okay so these are some of the bones which form the uh, the cranium so cranium consists of eight bones uh, one is the frontal bone, then the occipital bone behind, then we have the ethmoid bone and the spinoid bone. These are all single. So these are the four bones which are single bones. Then we have pair bones. These are the parietal bones as well as the, the temporal bones. Okay. So these single bones are four and paired bones are two that form the the eight cranial bones then we have the facial bones which form the face so these are 14 in number so which are those uh, the single bone is one is the mandible here this is the mandible okay then we have a bone deep inside here in the nasal cavity seen better from the behind that is called as the the vomer okay then 
we have paired bones here in the nose these are called the nasal bones nasal bones then we have bones here this is called the the lacrimal bone which are in pair then we have the two maxilla on either side this is called the maxilla okay then we have the zygomatic bone this is the zygomatic bone on either side this is also in pair okay then we have inferior nasal concha inside there is inferior nasal concha so inferior nasal concha is bony but superior and middle are cartilaginous okay so inferior nasal concha then we have the palatine bone behind the maxilla uh, it is seen from the uh, palate so there are two palatine bones so all these will form the the uh, 14 uh, facial bones that is one is the mandible and the vomer two bones then two nasal bones four then we have the two maxillary bones maxilla that is six then zygomantic bones eight then we have the lacrimal bones that is ten then we have the palatine bones that form the the 12 bones and then the inferior nasal concha which will form the 14 bone these are the 14 bones of the the facial skeleton so totally 14 facial bones and eight cranial bones together they form the 22 bones of the skull okay now coming to the uh, the shoulder girdle shoulder girdle is formed by the this is the clavicle here this is the clavicle and we have the scapula which is seen from behind this is the scapula and the clavicle we will study these bones again in detail one by one later in uh, future videos this is just the brief introduction to the bones here okay so these are the two bones which will form the shoulder girdle okay then we have 30 bones in the upper limb which are those one is the the bone of the arm that is called as the humerus then we have the the two bones of the forearm one is called as the this is the radius and this is called as the ulna radius and the ulna then we have eight bones here in the palm these are called as the the carpal bones carpal bones then we have the five metacarpal these are the metacarpals then we have the 14 phalanges phalanges these are the phalanges the uh, uh, the bones which are present in the digits or the fingers okay so each digit will have three bones this is called as the proximal middle and the distal okay so all these fingers will have three bones but the thumb will have only two bones so it becomes 14 so these are the 14 phalanges then five metacarpals so these become 19 then eight carpal bones that becomes 27 then we have the two bones in the uh, forearm that becomes 29 and the humerus 30 bones so there are 30 bones in each uh, upper limb so it becomes 60 then going to the lower limb we have similar bones here uh, which form the the hip girdle so that is formed by the these hip bones these are the two hip bones also called as the innominate bones again we'll go into details about each of these bones because each of this bone has three bones within them okay so we'll discuss in a separate video this is just the brief introduction so here you can show these are the two hip bones joined in the front by the pubic symphysis and behind we have the sacrum which form the pelvic cavity true as well as false pelvic cavity now coming to the the bones of the lower limb here this is the the femur femur okay then we have this is the bone this is called as the patella this, this is small bone then we have this is the the femur is the bone of the hip uh, or you can uh, the thigh sorry 
uh, this is the the femur is the bone of the thigh then we have the uh, bones of the leg these are the this is called as the tibia and this is called as the fibula then just like in case of the palm we had carpal bones here we have the tarsal bones but carpal bones were seven, uh, eight, but here the tarsal bones are only seven. Carpal bones in case of the palm are eight, but in case of the tarsal bone, there are seven tarsal bones. Then we have the five metatarsal. These are the five metatarsal. Then we have the 14 phalanges. So as I said, uh, in case of the hand, similarly in case of the leg also, or the foot, so there are three phalanges in each digit the proximal, middle as well as the distal, except the, the great toe, which will have only two. So it becomes 14 phalanges, then five metatarsals, then the tarsal are seven. So this becomes 14 plus five, 19, plus seven, 26. Then there are two bones here. In case of the leg, 28. Then we have the patella 29 and the femur. So this becomes 30. So 30 in each of the lower limb. So 30 and 30, 60 in the lower limb, 30 and 30 in the upper limb. 60 in the upper limbs, 60 in the lower limbs. Okay, on both the sides. Then it becomes 120 bones. Okay. Then we have uh, 12 pairs of ribs, 12 pairs. So these are the ribs here, okay, these are the cartilages here, which are joining, uh, uh, connecting the, uh, this is the, uh, the uh, sternum, which has three parts, and this is called uh, the sternum, manibrum sterni, and this is the body of the sternum, and this is called as uh, the xiphoid process. So these are the three parts of the sternum. So as I said, the coastal cartilage will connect the, the sternum with the ribs. So here are the ribs, 12 pairs of ribs. So there are 12 pairs because they are on both the sides. Out of this, the first seven, this is the first rib, second rib, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. These are called as true ribs because they are totally in contact with the sternum directly through the, the coastal cartilage. But the 8th, 9th and 10th, okay, these are called as the, the uh, false rib because they are not directly in contact with the sternum but by this uh, coastal margin here, okay. So they are not directly in contact with the sternum but through this coastal cartilages here, okay. So these are called as the 8th, 9th and 10th rib, these are called as the false ribs okay then we have two floating ribs the lowermost 11th and the 12th which can be better appreciated by the uh, by seeing from behind so these are the the 11th and the 12th rib so these are called as floating ribs because they are free if you see here they are totally free in the front they are not at all connected to the sternum okay only they are connected to the behind to the the vertebral column here okay so these are the uh, 12 pairs of ribs which are there and in the in the front we have the sternum with the three parts manibrum sternum body of the sternum and this is the zephyr process then finally going to the vertebras okay so there are 33 vertebras this is the vertebral column completely it is made up of 33 vertebras which are those so there are seven cervical vertebras in the neck so in the neck there are seven so these are called as cervical vertebras okay starting from the first this is called as the atlas vertebra atlas vertebra and this is the axis vertebra okay and the seventh one this is called as the the prominence okay then we have the 12 thoracic vertebra which are in contact with the ribs so these are called as the thoracic vertebra so th there are 12 ribs so there are 12 thoracic vertebras 
So these are the tall thoracic vertebras. Okay. Then we have the five lumbar vertebra. These are the five lumbar vertebras. Okay. Then we have the five sacral vertebras, which are all fused together to form a single bone, called as the sacrum. This is the posterior view of the sacrum. Okay. Then finally, coming below the sacrum will be the four coccygeal vertebras, very small vertebras, which are all fused together again, which form the tailbone. So these are the coccygeal vertebras. Okay. So there are 33 vertebras here in the vertebral column, plus 12 pairs of ribs. That becomes the 24 bones so 24 plus 33 it becomes 57 bones then we have the sternum 58 then the two bones here that becomes 60 okay then two bones on the other side which form the shoulder girdle so it becomes 62 then we have seen that there are uh, 60 bones in both upper limbs and 60 bones in both the lower limbs so it becomes uh, uh, 120 plus 62 it becomes 100 and uh, uh, how much it becomes it becomes 182 bones right okay then we have the 22 skull bones so it becomes 100 and 204 bones and finally we have to include these two bones hip bones so it becomes 206 bones so these are all the bones in total which are the uh, the 206 bones of the skeleton so once again i repeat so there are 22 bones in the skull 12 uh, the 8 are the cranial bones and the 14 are the facial bones then 12 pairs of ribs then we have the sternum in the front then we have the the shoulder girdle made up of the clavicle and the this is the scapula then we have the the bones of the upper limb which are 30 on either side then we have the bones in the lower limb which are 30 again then we have the two hip bones then we have the the 33 vertebras together this becomes 206 bones in total so this is all about the the skeleton and the bones which are present within this skeleton okay thank you very much